Welcome back. This is Lone Wolf, and we are playing Vintage Story. And we're using version 1, 19.8. Doing our best to uh, make some steel. So we were heading out. Um, the only place that I know where Bauxite exists is over by that other temporary base where we made the leather and the steel. So I was heading my way out there and on the way I was trying to calculate how much material I needed for different things. And I decided that I needed 13 stacks of both the quartz and the bauxite so that they can be ground and uh, combined and turned into refractory brick tier one. So I didn't get that far and I found a nice deposit of quartz. And according to the handbook, it says I can use this. That it can be crushed into powdered quartz, which is used to make the reef and fired refractory bricks. So one to make one brick and eight bricks make two bricks. So I need, if I want uh, eight, I need four stacks. I want to make three more, three more furnaces. So, my calculation is that I need 13. Now I'm getting sound. And of course, we uh, mined up another iron deposit. So we've got plenty of vegetables. We've got some uh, protein. Some grain, what we don't have any of is berries. Looks like I'm gonna want to make another pickaxe. To bring with me. So we only, we have three more steel pickaxes after the one that I have here and the one that I'm already using, then we'll be using steel. Uh, pretty sure I have an extra shovel and axe in here, which I do. So I don't have the extra pro pick, but uh, I really don't think that's an issue. Armor looks in fine condition. Uh, I did bring some leather to repair, but I get to thinking if I get really hurt, I'm going to need more than just the one piece of leather to uh, repair armor with. Let's get. Uh, Get some packed dirt. I just found out from my last outing that I don't have half back marked really well. Because I ended up going way over there and then over there and instead of just coming back from there and back up here. So I've got work to do. As we go through this, we'll run into some berries that we can collect for our trip. So I've got to identify this little section through here better. 
because right here you can't can't see anything here. So I think what I'm going to do is another pylon up here. Well, I have found my way back to that other temporary base multiple times. I certainly have not worked to find my way back from there to here. And it just feels like maybe there's a little bit missing here. Whatever. My whole goal here is to make sure that I can get between those, these two temporary bases. And the reason we're going back to that other base is because I don't know where else Bauxite lives. Okay, so we've got that there. Pretty sure right over here there's another marker, yeah, right there. Yeah, but see this one has no direction on it. I'm gonna take some ladders and go up there and put a direction indicator because I saw this one last time. But it didn't help me know that I needed to turn there. Anyways, and I didn't follow to here as well as I should have, so maybe with the directional on it, it'll be better for me. see what this does. At least it now has a direction. What did I just possibly do that would cause me to take damage? This one now says, hey, that away. And you go over and you'll see the next one that I just put up. And then you should see. The primary uh, pylon above. Can we get up on here. this seems like a decent place to put another pylon. That one you don't see as well because there's trees and stuff. So let's try to make this one more visible. This one. I've seen we've got that one there that has no directional on it either. That was because I, uh, that's before I figured out how I wanted to do this stuff. Alright, well, that's got something.
Uh, I still didn't bring any shears with me. I think that might be a really good thing to have. So we're going to take this short trip back. I don't remember what kind of tree you are. And what I would be wanting from a cultural trader is that the artisan. I'd want the cheese from her, but anyways. C'est la vie. So yes, back to go get some shears. So we did all this back in the day. I had done a lot of these and had figured out exactly how I wanted to do all this stuff. So we got better at the other temporal base. But we started it here and of course it's certainly helped me find my way back to uh, home. I think I only have one set of shoes, a pair of shoes. I think I only have the one shoes. You tell me what is the proper English for that. Not that it matters. Alright, so there's my shoes. Yes, it is the only one, but it's got it's got a lot of durability. Let's go. We're going to eat this next. Try to keep it from rotting to uselessness. Anything good today? Ha 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 ha. Hello, Graham. Well, that is really super ugly looking from here. It just looks like looks like a big blob on top, on the end of it. That's all right. this way, however, however we can get there easily enough. to this pylon. Yep, right there. Now we'll, uh... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's do something with him. Make him more useful. He's already here. Let's help him provide us with more information. Not just that, hey, I'm here. I'm here and, oh, by the way, oh, that's a wolf. Huh.
Wow. Wow, I am very pleased with that. Go pick up our spears. Is there anything we want from you? Well, we'll take the red meat. Or the meat. Okay, that guy has a, a directional on him now. So this guy is not exactly right. He should be pointing diagonally, not they go that way, because that's that's not correct. we're going to fix him too. And collect some red currents along the way. Oops. And hopefully we'll find more red currents. Mine actually isn't a bad number. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna correct that. Cause that is just not as useful as it needs to be. As me, and since I'm the one that it counts here, then uh, I guess I'm right. That gives a better signal. Uh, go straight. Just go straight. Not correct. We did that last time, and while it wasn't a total disaster, it certainly sent me on a bit of a goose chase, didn't it? Okay, so you're saying that way, and he's saying that way, and those two are saying that way. Yeah, we can see four of them from right here. See five. Uh, where's more of these red currents? We're on move on. I know I've seen them. Oh. Oh, he says. Oh. We don't get any more red currents right now, that's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking. I'm grateful for my air conditioner, but it's not the most uh, useful or cooperative thing out there. Okay, so we've got that one, and then uh, if we put one over here, pretty sure we did not. Okay, so we've got that one. No reason we can't just come through here. not overuse this because it's the only one I have. Certainly I have no way to make another one. All the we are OTA. No OTR over on the road. Yeah. Okay. 
What is that? Travel apparently. So we already can't see this one, and that's okay. We just we should just generally have some idea of what direction we're going when we're coming back. Get rid of this a little bit, might make it easier to see that pylon. There I am just brutalizing my shears. I should should have made two more left. Okay, so because of that little bit of clean up there, you can definitely see the pylon much more easily. I mean, you have to be in the right space, uh, place, but uh, should have liked to put a road in here. Just to me, that's just simply the right. I mean, that's just what you would do. In this situation. some of this. What's up here? This is definitely Shears territory. Because I think I want to put a pylon up here. But if it's not visible, it's a total waste of time. So in order to make it visible, I gotta get rid of this stuff. We're just in heavy, vegetated area. So if you want a pylon to work, well, I think you kind of just have to do what I'm doing here. To work to clean some of it out. I mean, right now, this thing would be useless right here. You know what we're going to do? Instead of taking this thing down branch by branch, I'm just going to take it down. I don't want you. Big sneeze, big sneeze. I was gonna throw most of these sticks away. It is what it is. You only have the inventory you have. Yeah, it's just. I should, yeah, that's what I should do. I should just burn it. That literally, that's what I should do. I should pretend like my name is Gigi Beyond and uh, make this happen. I don't need to bring. Oh shh! <gasps> ah ah! Disconnect. Sorry, sorry. I was way caught off guard. Uh, guard, and uh, I was panicking and. Uh, I don't want to die. I probably still will. But, <laughs> good grief. I was, I was guaranteed to die if I didn't disconnect right there. Don't know that that's going to help. I don't expect the bear to be gone. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, well, I tried. 
What is a polar bear doing out here in this forest? Seriously. Oh, wait. Um. So, things to do. Well, we already talked about it, didn't we? Oh, I should make some more shears. Absolutely, and without question, make some shears. So. shears I guess so even though you know I'm not thinking oh I, I'm gonna be traveling back and forth through this thing the tongs decided I didn't need tongs bad enough to bring them they are simply enough to make. Fortunately, I started that already. Let's uh, find some, some vines. all I need. If I remember the recipe. Well, that's pretty close. Why would a polar bear be there? I mean, in all sincerity, that's not where polar polar bears will like it hot. Uh, these are all hot. Well, that's true. They're not going to stack in. 
but that's okay. I want to be able to clear what I need to clear. Whatever. Do the best we can. Okay. That was good. an hour, so yeah, that's not going to last for long. This was... Okay, 11 hours. Okay, well. Dang it. Oh. Yeah, I'm there. There's the destruction of which I was speaking. That took two pieces to repair. One piece. Okay, if I'm if I'm already occupying a slot with it, just bring enough of the stuff. Okay, so extra shears. Dang, polar bear. Dang. Polar bear, right there. Uh, just beside myself, what a polar bear would be doing right there. Nothing cold. Dang. No sea lions to go eat. But I guess there's me to kill, huh? Seriously, that, that really took me off guard. I mean, absolutely in no way, shape, or form was I even beginning to think about a polar bear. Just never, never crossed my mind. Wow. So three days, eleven days, one day, three days, forever. Polar bear. Oh my goodness, polar bear. Of all the dang things. He sure didn't make any noise, or he was just boom, on me and I was dead. That was so uncool. So, so, so uncool. So look more obvious to go through there. Dang polar bear. Seriously. Yeah, I'm uh I I I'm I'm in shock. Totally shocked.
without a clue. I was absolutely clueless. Absolutely no reason for me to think about a polar bear. Whatever. I mean, if it wasn't a polar bear, it could have been a wolf, could have been a brown bear, black bear, whatever. But it wasn't. It was a polar bear. That probably is exactly where I didn't want to put that. Jeez. My goodness gracious. Some more red currents. I think that as soon as I collect them, they're only good for two days, yeah. And I'm gonna... Dang it. Dang it. Hey. I mean, more than anything, just shock. And I knew I was in a bad place. I knew he wasn't going to go anywhere by me disconnecting, but... At least had a second to breathe. Not exactly your high end strategy, but you know. I should get out the two extra spears that I have in my trunk if I'm going to be facing that creeper, 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 creeper. And, uh, well, that's not where I wanted you to go, but then... You really go where I want you to go anyways. I guess I can, no, I can't have those on me. Yeah, uh -huh. okay, let's put you down here. Maybe I'll find that little stack of sticks I just threw away. Put it down. Let's make more. and it'll be easier to see the pylon. Three. 
This is where maybe going along the coast would be a better choice, maybe. Because we don't have all the brush. And then likely to have all these trees. Yeah, I should just be burning them down. I don't know what I'm doing chopping these down for. I mean, Gigi Beyond had the right idea. Has the right idea. This is just so thick right here. Sometimes when GG Beyond is doing this, it gets frustrated because the fires don't spread, but or or just has a hard time starting the fire, which you know you think shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to do. But when it's 30 below out, or whatever it might be, it's not unreasonable for it to be difficult to start a fire. think. And this is costing you no durability. This is costing you time, but no durability. I can't just go and replace whatever, whenever. So uh, I don't want to burn down the whole forest. Yeah, I'd like to burn down a path. That's going to be the next best thing to... Uh, you're going to light sometime? That's going to be the next best thing to... Getting a road out here. Just burning down the forest. Clearing out the heavy stuff. Are you... It would be nice if there was something that said lit, wouldn't it? Like other parts of the game have. Alright, why are you not lit? Seriously. How can you be not lit? Page out of the master's handbook. Well, I hear fire, but I see absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah. Well, good. So, by all means, hurt me. Bar on fire. Good. Hope so. Great. What's this? A wolf just died? Oh, yeah. I'm out here, and I've, I've already forgotten about polar bear. Wow. I'd like more clue that you're actually that thank you. I mean seeing some seeing some fire helps. I mean even just a little bit. Okay, so I'm assuming that when I see that little puff of orange there, 
get you somehow, but okay, same on you. I'm seeing a puff of orange. There we go. This is a lot of forest, and I can't just sit here and chop the thing down. And it's not like this the whole way. Queen. But it's this way right now. Okay, there's the for frozen part where the polar bear should have been. Not over here by me. Stalking me, sneaking up on me without warning. If you doubt the effectiveness of this, go and watch some episodes of GG Beyond. Where's my... Yeah, my hill's back here. Yeah, rather than burn that, just take it down with the stupid porch. Okay, now we're ready to put up Fire's causing lag, okay. Oh, nope, there's two more wolves. Oh, is your force being burned down? I feel sorry for you, except you want to eat me. I do have extra spears. But they are a bit away. I wouldn't mind just uh, having nothing to do with them. That'd be okay with me. Uh, well, something's on fire. What's on fire? Oh, it's that other tree back there. Okay. I gotta say, I'm actually having fun, by the way. You know, start at the bottom. This fire burns its way up. This heat rises. Okay, well, I got rid of that. I'm gonna put that block. I don't need a wide path, but... I'd like something obvious. Mostly what I want is the vision to see my pylons. That's all I really want. Yes, I know there are two wolves over there. I'm absolutely wanting to not Thankfully, I'm aware of them. From what I've seen, the fires don't spread all that well, except when they first created fire spreading. I was playing on a world that just got going, get things set up, and all of a sudden the entire world around me was in flames. 
I was out trying to cut fire lines and do everything I could to put the dang fire out, stop it from burning down what I had built, which wasn't much, but it's all I had. But I gotta tell you, I'm enjoying this. White fox. Finally showing signs of fire. I should probably set more fires spaced out more. Ah, uh -huh, there's one of the beasts right there. It's so pretty can take on one, but it's the two of them together. Well, if I storm. Well, ain't that special. I just like to collect. Wow! And just immediate terror. Wow. I just want to see, if, see me getting my spears back. I think I've got them. Why would I not step up that? Okay. Okay. 
now. I can take that off. Bed. Snow blocks. Really unsure where that came from. And thanks to modern technology. storm seems to be waiting. Get that excited. Okay. Uh. Come on. Why would you put that inside? Not on my hot bar. Back dirt. Got it. Now, let's go get all the things from over here. I was trying to dig in, hunker down, pass the storm by whilst sleeping. There were a lot of drifters. No wonder it got so bright. I was, was like, man, I can't I can't see the details. Well, it's because it was snow I was on. And there's no question that I'm going to uh Not, I'm not going to be uh, making a straight line from one point to the other. I know I would have avoided this area. 
sad to say I'd have found this I'd have found the uh, ice and snow. Look at that, there's a trader right over there. And I'd have turned away from where the ice and snow were. Alright, we got fire. That's awesome. Temples and a temple drift. Okay, am I actually lost? Let's go back to where the fire and the temporal rift were. Because the fire is a sure sign that yes, I was here. So the question is. Or was I burning down? Ah, over here. This is where we were. Okay. Let's do harvest the wolves. anywhere. I turned to base multiple times. So I don't want all of these spirits in here. I'm going to have dirt. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Those, I should have some hides to throw away. Yep. Okay. Okay, so if I'm coming along here... I've done multiple times and in my mind if I get over here and I see that I'm going to turn this way because I won't want to go through all of that okay so we've got that Oh, I'm really stupid. Might say yes, Wolf, but why this time? Because I don't want that there. I guess you should say, well, what the heck did that matter? I'd say, well, it makes me happier. Uh, so, okay. Alright, so we got that. Got a cave we could, uh, That's not what we're doing. We're not here for this. Want to do these things. Yes. 
you know, I don't mind the stuff hanging around. I just, I don't want the low stuff hanging down, though. and have you not here. Or you. But I'm telling you that I would have come here and I would have headed a different direction. Because I wouldn't want to go through the snow and ice. I'm glad that we've got those Bulls killed. But I think we're going to take a 90 degree turn here. I see, so it's a little temporary and stable. Yes, I would have avoided the snow. So I would be going further south because the general direction that I'm heading is west. And it's that way. And that makes this south. I just want this to be clear and obvious, oh, there's no, nothing here, I'm going to put a pylon out there, point me in the right direction. On the other hand, the way would I have gone? This way or that way? Or would I have turned to earth here? See what's what. Uh, so we've got you on fire, burning. Okay, you are burning. You still on fire? That's a wolf and a pup right there. Right now, I don't have all those spears on me. So let's make it so that I can get all the spears back up. Let's be safe and not die. I just did, and I don't want to. What the heck? Did I just take that out of here? That's weird.
like to reverse things. Yes, and you, my little pup. Why don't I just throw another spear? The sound was obvious. Oh my gosh! Go away! My goodness, so how did I lose a ladder run? Whatever. I should have brought this one up too. I should bring everything I own! Sometimes that's how it feels. Is that my ladder? Ah. Uh -huh. Rest one's back into the box. First one here. Press it better. I think I have all my spears. Look at me. Are there any logs still laying over here? I doubt there will be. Because if there are, then I'll collect some of those logs. in here. My goodness, this is a dangerous place. Okay, so we get to here. And I'm speculating that I would turn here to avoid all the cold stuff. So I guess I want to put a marker up here somewhere. This is the higher part. And I'm assuming I went this way, so... I don't know is if I'm actually going to go this way. I'm assuming, based off of knowing myself, that going this way This is only ice for just a short way. Mm. Hey. So with all that said, this 
put our directional on here. Come on down and uh, I guess we're going to go this way. Oh, it's nice that we have temporal rifts right next door. Yes, seeing that, we're just going to go right on this way. Crunch, crunch, grind, grind, crunch, crunch, grind, grind. So many, well, it is apocalyptic. I was just going to say, man, it's, uh, what does that, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. There's a temporal rift around, maybe? Well, it's 21. So what I'd like to do Can't find uh, prototype somewhere along this trip because I've never looked for it along the way. But I also know that I didn't notice any. can see those but not real well. Thing nice about this spot is it's not fully overgrown vegetation. Well, that's a good thing. There's vegetation, but it's not a massive overgrown thing. A massive overgrown thing. So I've been having problems with the microphone audio. Just uh, listening to some playback. My only thing I can come up with, because the microphone hasn't changed, where it sits hasn't changed. Nothing about any of that has changed. But season has gotten warmer in real life. So in this room that I record in, I've got an in, inside standalone AC unit. It's not far from not far from the microphone or anything else. I think that it may be causing a lot of the audio issues, but I don't know. I'm just looking for a way up onto the top of this to put a pylon up there. Just seeing if there's a nice way up without having to uh, build a way up. There is not. Oh, 
Fred. Okay, let's try this again. Lowly. I didn't turn my head up high enough to see there were two. Two stacks of sand up there. And being up on this pylon just lets this pylon be higher, more visible, with me using less dirt to get it that way. This way because it's not exactly uh, yeah. it's not exactly uh, parallel it's that way now well, I wonder if I've met this trader before when I've run back from the base that we're leaving right now where I mined all the iron back to the place where we made the leather and the steel my uh, mode of operation hasn't exactly been uh, look around and see what you can find it's been uh, head west and uh, Okay. And see if I could find the other base. That's what was that has been the mode of operation. So yeah, I'm not exactly familiar with everything here. Was there a tree there? Probably. Oh, come on. I don't know how I did anything but actually grab that, but... Go meet this traitor up here. Whoever and whatever he is, let's go greet. Good uh, person. Geologic activity. obviously spoken to him before because I didn't have to ans answer the uh, silly first question. So what are we going to do? We're going to keep going west. Why is that there? You know what? I should, I should hook this stuff up.
27, you say. Well, I think that should take care of it, but... Come up here, grab a piece of grass. And make ourselves a fire pit. M for map. Yeah, of all the stuff I have, this is the stuff I should probably eat first. It is replaceable, and it does have a limited span where this has much longer life. This needs to be eaten. Yeah, that's what we need to do there. All right, well. I am curious, is there a cave around here? Not when you want to find one. We can collect some uh, laurel fruit. Oh, that was nice. Got three from that. I hope the audio is sounding better because I've got the AC off and it's warm in here. I prefer to have it on, but I want to see if it be nice to know if that's the source of the problem or if it's that something else. Because if it's something else, then it's probably... Uh, why is you to solve then taking care of uh, an AC unit, which I don't have any way to take care of, so. so that's got 60, okay. There we go. Two more. That fresh fruit from the desert. Actually is a nice supply of fruit. I was hoping to find a cave. Looks like I just did. That sand. that just fill the cave in? No. Not exactly what one uh, would be thinking of as a cave. But you, sir. No, you look like a hole. I just would like to know what's below the granite. It, or if it goes granite all the way down to bottom of the world. I can smell that meat cooking.
Hey, look at that. Oh, hyena. Where there's one, there's more. Guess it's angled this way a little bit. But... Yes, we are going somewhat south at this moment. Get away from all the dogies. Well, can get away from all the dogies. Acacias make that hard to see. We got hot summer rain. Though it has certainly been hotter. Yeah, I don't want to put up a pillar there. But we'll want one over here. It can be seen without that. This one's going to take more dirt because we're pretty much coming off of uh, sea water level. Sea level, yeah, that's what I should be. Sea level. just how it is. Okay. So we're going into the uh, the abyss of vegetation again. Those look blue to me. All 
All right. Hmm, some vegetables. caring because they last so long. If I'm only going to have two of them, then maybe I'm not so interested. Thought I saw something moving over there, but... Well... You just can't see Pylon from here. Thank you for alighting. It's raining. I'm not expecting the fire to spread, but I am hoping for it to take the trees down. this a lot of trees. Well, am I going this way? Uh -oh. Hey, hey, hey now. It's, what is that moving over there? your lid. What do I know? I think your lid. Hey, stop it, stop it. Oh, I'm on fire. Where's water? Myself on fire. Oh, wolf. You numbskull. Is it that? that yes it is it hurt to find just a little shelter anybody have any shelter why you do sir well, I don't know where that one came from but okay Definitely not where it goes. Let's relight them torches. Don't set yourself on fire again, Wolf.
Why? Oh, you idiot. Couldn't figure out why nothing was being lit. The number was staying at five. Well, that's because I was applying a lit torch. A lit torch instead of a unlit torch to a lit torch. supposed to fix all that what you said not me but I could see this right now you know maybe doing this because it's raining and all those guys up top are wet anyways Let's plant you tree. Whoa. How did I kill him? What concerns me is I saw something else here. No, 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 no. Okay. I thought I cut two pieces of grass. But then there was only one. I guess this is me just having fun more than being strategic, I don't know. But I am having fun doing this. And it does serve a purpose too, which is to help me find my way through here. Meteoric iron. It's great. That's not a roar, I don't know what is. Wow. Yeah, you hear the rain putting out, you know, hitting the hot fire. A little sizzling going on. Okay, 
Okay, so we got some water here. I uh, know I'm not going to go through this whole forest doing this though, I can tell you that. There's just too much vegetation here. So how do I solve that problem? Can't do it with tools that take durability off of them to do this. Torch is the only thing that uh, allows me to just keep doing this endlessly because it's not costing any durability. And I don't need to take the whole forest out. I'm just seeing all the, the grass in my way here. If so, why doesn't the grass catch fire? It's raining. Are you on fire, tree? Telling me you're on fire. I think you're telling me you're on fire. And you're telling me you're on fire. Okay. See that stuff in a while. Okay, you are on fire. Okay, good. I swear I set you on fire, but you're smoking. Quite a bit of this lobster right through here. Certainly not trying to destroy food. This one's just because. Okay, well, I think that's going to be a fairly obvious path. That's the other part of this. But, you know, you see all the stuff hanging around in the air, and you see it's all heavily forested next to you. Oh, come on. Telling me you're on fear. Okay. 
ね。Those are AD. Okay. You on here? You will be now. How the heck do you know if it's on fire? Walk up to it and uh, die? That that would be one way to know. Yes, I agree. That was stupid. So I'm wondering if I just do smaller things that you can see, but you have to kind of be in the path, right? So like that'd be a confirmation. Okay, yeah, you're heading the right way. of course aren't all yeah that's already going whatever but if I clear the area well enough without it costing me maybe that would be an okay technique short little things have them frequent enough that uh, you won't have to see very far to find them are you doing anything you're not Please. I know this isn't getting me anywhere anytime fast. Didn't I just try to light you on fire and you just did nothing? Started smoking? I mean, there's nothing happening here. Maybe I can light the leaves on fire. I don't know why that tree won't start on fire. Well, there's a problem with this plan, and that is that these two places are quite far away from each other. And this is not making fast progress of anything. Well, we get into this dense vegetation. Okay, you are actually burning. Thank you.
not really sure what my other choices are. Because I can't, I can't chop them all down. I can't cut through everything with my shears. Shears is good for like, you know, if there's ground cover. I suppose. You burn. Oh, shh. Woo. oh, come on. So that little bush was on fire. Hey, yeah, you're showing me signs of being on fire. You're showing me you're on fire. Okay. Wouldn't mind you being one taller. Well, there's a lot of stuff disappearing here. You're not a deer, you're an elk. Deer don't have those dark legs. Not in the world that I live in. What did I just pick up? with this stupid maple tree. Right, you're finally burning. Thank you. Are you burning maple tree? Still going. Is there any kind of opening anywhere in the near future? I just can't spend this much time the whole way there. I mean, you know, we could be 6,000 blocks from each other to temporary bases. I don't know if you're on fire. That one back there is. This one probably is. By a lake's not a that 
dunk myself. Stop burning myself. Well, nice if you could actually tell something was on fire. Okay. We are making progress, just not a whole lot. Not real fast. How do you put pylons through a place like this? How, how can you... How can you see one for the next one through this? Don't think you do. off with the sound. The answer to that question is all the fires that I have burning. That's that's the answer. Okay. So yeah, it's doing a good job. This just needs to be higher. This one has got to be higher. Got that there, and then yeah. It's all that poison stuff. Oh, you know what? Feels good when uh, you see the fruits of your labor. You on fire? Look at you, you are. You're on fire. You're burning away. You're burning. Dump myself. Stop putting myself on fire. All right, I guess we better end the episode. The dog's barking. Trying to get my attention so we can go outside. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. And if I'm playing Vintage Story, I'm having fun. I'm certainly having fun in this one as well. If you like what I'm doing, please do consider subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, please click on that like button. And if you're so inclined to click on dislike, go ahead. But I ask that you leave a, a, a comment on the video to let me know what it was that you didn't like. So that I can learn and uh, do better. Please, I would love to hear from you. So please do post on my videos. Whatever you'd like to say, I'd love to hear it. So... That's that. As always, come back and watch the next one. Apparently there was a branch in the way. Thank you. Goodbye.